chosen ones, empaths, narcissists make a big mistake and they don't think correctly. They don't think that far ahead. You see, when they put you through a smear campaign and it hurts going through a smear campaign, you know, like when you have everyone looking at you in another light than you actually are and they have you um with this label over you that you're a I don't know you're an abuser or you're this or you're that they have you in they have you under their thumb basically and they're telling all their flying monkeys and police and all sorts of people that you're this sort of horrible person right they actually shoot themselves in the foot right because once they do this, there's no turning back. There's no turning back. And at the time when they're doing it, <clears throat> they're not thinking about turning back. That's why they don't care. They're just smearing your name. They're smearing you to everybody, right? And for the person who receives the smear campaign, it can be very hard to go through a smear campaign. It can be very traumatizing, um, you know, because your own family can start to look at you like you're you're something that you're not right your own close associates friends family can actually believe the narcissist right but the catch-22 is right is they eventually you know the story gets old <coughs> the story gets old but the narcissist doesn't stop from keeping your name in their mouth right but to their flying monkeys and to their family and whatnot, the story gets a bit old. But they like talking your name because when they talk your name, they actually get supply, right? But eventually it comes a time when they can't be talking your name no more or it makes no sense. It's like you've gone in one direction, they've gone in another, you know? You, they've gone east, you've gone west. You, you've both gone separate ways. And it don't make sense for them to still be talking about you. And this is when the struggle kicks in. Because as you've heard in my other videos, or many of my videos, how the narcissist struggles after losing an empath or a chosen one. They begin to go through dumper's remorse. They begin to regret. And this can be even if you were discarded. This is what I'm saying. They can go through remorse. They feel regretful. Their new supply is not weighing up to how they expected their new supply to weigh up to. Um, this all goes on in secret now. Because they've smeared you so much. Right? They now know they can't walk street with you. They can't show face with you. They can't. But they want to. You know, in their desire, they wish they could actually turn back the hands of time and they wish they could um, reverse the uh, reverse the smear campaign or but they can't. They can't. Too much damage has been done. You're at a point where if you've been smeared by a narcissist, you know what I'm talking about. But you're you don't want nothing to do with them. But they're stuck in this reality of. Wishing for before. You see, they, you know, you might get uh, hoovers through social media, fake supply, uh, fake profiles. You might get hoovers. You might get telephone calls from private numbers. You, the list goes on, right? They will keep you around as a secret, and that's all you will be, because they can't face to bring you out in public again. Because they've actually smeared your name so badly. you got to understand, some people have been, some empaths and chosen ones have been sent to prison. I nearly got sent to prison. Um, you know, they've been labelled as something they're not, right? From the hands of these narcissist smear campaigns. But deep within inside the narcissist, they can't take it. They wish they could turn it back. They want to be back with you. You see, you've got to understand that they run out there. 
they meet this new supply, they think things are great, and then they realize their new supply is trash. And the new supply doesn't work, it does not compare to you in any which way. And how this is the catch-22 that I'm talking about. Because they thought it was okay to smear you. They thought they were getting ahead when they smeared you. They enjoyed smearing you. They, they enjoyed every minute of it bad-mouthing you to people. Telling police or whoever they told. They enjoyed every second of it. But it's the biggest catch-22 because they get to the other side. They're with their new supply. Things are meant to be hunky-dory. Things are meant to be happy. And they're not happy. They're not content. And they wish for before. They wish back for the person that they smeared. And they've burnt the bridge. There's no way back across. And this is where they struggle. They struggle to accept that you're gone. They struggle to accept that they can't be with you anymore. And they've done all this own doing themselves. They've got very self-destructive nature. And this was a very destructive move that they that they that they that they, they uh, premeditated before even doing it. You know, they 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 thought deeply about doing this smear campaign on you. You know, for those of you who've been for a smear campaign, you know what I'm talking about. But the narcissist is horrible when they smear because they label you some of the worst types of things possible. And people believe it. Only the realest people, like the realest people, only your you'll notice after a smear campaign, maybe on your hand you can count a few people that are actually real and they saw your side of the events. They saw your version of events. But so many people just believe the narcissist, they just believe the smear. They don't even come <clears throat> sorry. They don't even come to question you about it. They don't even come to try and see your side of events or your side of the story. They just believe the narcissist, right? But this is the biggest challenge for the narcissist because they have to live with the fact that they've smeared the very person who they desire to spend the most time around. They desire to spend time around you. They wish they could turn back their hands in time. But it's gone too far. And... It's highly unlikely that they will ever openly um, make it known that they want to be back with you. It's highly unlikely because they don't like to be exposed, right? They don't like to be exposed. But I was smeared, you know? I was smeared. I was taken to court. I was arrested. I went through all of that. Only to have a narcissist be contacting me afterwards when we're not meant to be speaking. Have a narcissist reach out to me. And that just shows exactly what I'm saying is true. Because if what they were saying was true, I would have never heard from them again. Right? If if the smear was right, if, if what they were saying about me was true, I would have never heard from them again. I would have never heard from them at all ever again. But I did. I did hear from them again numerous times after this smear campaign. I've heard from them. And that proves to me that they struggle to deal with and come to terms with the fact that they've actually lost you forever. Because through a smear, they actually lose a supply. It's like you're not on the shelf no more. They've smeared you. If you're not waiting on the shelf, you know, it's hard for them to rekindle with you. It's hard for them to make it known and it's hard for them to make it back to how it was before because they've smeared you so badly. They've told everyone bad things about you. They've told everyone this and that. It's hard for them to come back on down, back to your level, not down to your level, back to your level and be on the same page as you. It's hard for them to do that. And they struggle. This is one of the biggest struggles of the narcissist. And this is why their, their smear campaigns always backfire. Because a narcissist is a liar. A narcissist is not serious. A narcissist will say things they don't mean. A narcissist will do things they don't wish to do. And this is one of those things that they do 
which they later regret and have to live with that regret for the rest of their lives. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you'd like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I've got a secondary channel, a spiritual channel. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.